going on, ladies and gentlemen? Boys and girls, back again another video. Today, we get into Sabrina Carpenter Coincidence. So we're making our way through the album. We just did Sharpest Tool. Now we get into this lyric video. We're going to see what's going on. Hope you're having a good day. Come vibe with your boy. Well, this is different. She's got a real six cents. No name comes up once, then it comes up twice. And without her even being here, she's back in your life. Now she's in the same damn city on the same damn night. And you lost all your common sense. What a coincidence. Oh, this is a uh... last week you didn't have any doubts. What is this? This week you're holding space for her tongue in your mouth. Now she's sending you some pictures wearing less and less. Trying to turn the past into the present tense. Huh. Sucking up to all of your mutual friends. Okay. And you lost all your common sense. Bro, this is so different. It's almost like 70s. I don't know how to describe it. Oh, those layers in the back. I like that. Got a liar on our hands. What a coincidence. Oh, 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 just broke up again. What a coincidence. And then you even have people in the back. Coincidence. It's like it's a, a restaurant vibe or something. There's a lot of background noise. People are talking and having a conversation. Okay, this is very different. This is not like, obviously this is a pop song, right? This is more pop. It's Sabrina Carpenter. But this is not like any of the pop that I've heard this year from all the other pop girls as well. This is very, I don't know, 70s, 80s, pop hippie guitar. I don't even know how to describe it. The beginning sounds like an intro to like those old like family TV series, you know, like Friends and... All that stuff. I don't know, but like even older, if there's older stuff, like Full House maybe. I don't know. That's what the beginning sounds like. It's those guitars and like that older kind of sound. So very different. Everything sounds good. Don't get me wrong. The mixing on here is very good. The quality of everything is very good. The writing is good. I like a lot of the way that she writes and, and paints a picture, you know, like, oh, that's crazy how your car just went from LA to her thighs, you know, just saying, obviously he went over to her house and your phone just died. What a coincidence. Like she's painting a very good picture of how all these things just seem to be a coincidence. Oh yeah. I thought that was the girl you outgrew and oh, what's this? You're actually with her and you said this and that. So it's about the story about so it's about a story of this guy that's playing her, but also playing his other girl. Like he's in, he's in the middle of like, oh, do I want this girl? Do I want this girl? I kind of want both. And, you know, she's on the other end of it being like, yo, what is this? And, oh, all these things that you're saying, it's not really the truth, is it? It's kind of a coincidence. So she's catching on to his BS. The writing's good. She sounds good. The vocal chain on here is good. I like the mix on everything. The layers are good. I like a lot of that that natural kind of public. She's out in public kind of vibe. People are talking in the back. It gives it this very different feel and almost like, you know, this inclusive feel. I don't know, like not everybody. I don't know. It's just open. It's hard to describe, but it's like you're part of something hearing all this stuff. It's like inclusive, I guess. I don't know. So even with that being said, everything sounds good. She sounds good. The writing is good. It's just not really my cup of tea. This isn't just, this isn't my sound, right? Like I can understand a lot of people liking this for sure because it does sound good. It's mixed well. It's solid start to finish. 
but it definitely comes down to taste on this one for me. I don't, this isn't my taste, not my style. I'm not going to be playing this back. You know, if someone put this on, I'd probably be like, ah, I'd probably listen to something else. I would definitely rather listen to something else by Sabrina for sure. But I, I don't think I would listen to it again. You know, it's just, it's not for me, but it does sound good, right? You can't deny that. So I can see why this has a lot of views and why a lot of people enjoy this one. And it's a relatable story as well. You know, there's always some douchebag out there that's playing girls or vice versa. Some douche that's playing guys, you know, it's just some or vice versa, some douche girl that's playing guys, right? Like this happens all the time. So it's relatable. I get it. But probably as of right now, probably my least favorite on the album. I think it's cool. The sound and the experimentation of it is very outside the box, but overall the way it sounds. Yeah, probably my least favorite. So that'll do it for today's reaction video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment down below. It helps channel grow. It helps YouTube algorithm. If you're new here and you haven't done so, hit that subscribe button. I drop a video every day. If you're not new here, welcome back. Appreciate the love and support. You know what to do? Leave some comments down below. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this. If you're a fan of Sabrina, be sure to support. If you're a fan of Sabrina, be sure to support Sabrina. Always support the artists or the content that you enjoy. So with all that being said, hope you're having a great day. Send a positive vibes. You're winning. Until next time, I'm out. I'm gonna ride for you if you ride for me. I'm gonna win your heart, I'm trying to play.